Welcome to your new job, Scooter. Wow. I've dreamed of working at Porcupines ever since I was a kid. Really? Astronaut, firefighter, all those dreams taken? Excuse me? Nothing. I'll show you around. That's Dinger. He's been here longer than Porcupines itself. It was a hometown buffet before, and he just never left. That's Ella. We found her sleeping in the alley and took her in. She's new to the idea of personal boundaries. She'll get it. Or get sued. Moving on. That's Anton, the owner. His dad gave him this place after he accidentally burned down the last one. And Ian there, he's our mascot. Wait, that's Porcupine? For real? Mm -hmm. But the novelty will wear off soon enough. Oh, it won't for me. You know, Lori, back when I was a kid growing up outside of Vultures Point, my family ate practically every meal at Porcupine's. We weren't fancy enough for the spaghetti factory crowd. But at Porky's, we felt welcome. Not just on birthdays, but every day. This was a place we could always call home. Sorry, new guy. Is he okay? No, he's dead. Ugh. Now we're gonna have to find a new one. Oops. This is America, land of dreams. Everyone can climb higher. You're stuck here. Cause you're a part-timer, yeah. You can do anything. As long as it's not hard. And you can go anywhere. As soon as you get a car. You're gonna be a huge success. Come on, that's not who you are. You're a part-timer, cursed with full-time dreams. This place is so amazing. You know, I used to come here when I was a kid. Yeah, and I would... yeah, yeah. And this is your dream, blah, blah, blah. Tell you what, why don't you show yourself around? Oh, this place hasn't changed a bit. Would that I were but a drop of barf on her cheek, so that she might touch me. Hey, new guy. Back off. Huh? You stand too close to the prize booth. But that's over there. Think of the prize booth as my castle. That makes this the moat. Oh, well, permission to cross the drawbridge, sir? Denied. Oh. But as a gesture of goodwill, I'll let you pick a prize. Oh, no thanks. What, my crappy little prize aren't good enough for you? Oh, uh, uh, you know what? I'll take this badge. <laughs> you know what? Ever since you took over, this place has really improved. I know, right? I don't see any other kids' restaurants installing tanning lights. <laughs> Genius! <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, is it just me or uh, something a little off about the new guy? Like what? I don't know. I need a closer look. Pass me the hello scope. Well, hello. Dude, he's over there. Sorry. Uh, looks like he's looking for something. Huh. He's got a badge. Oh my god. The new guy's a narc. No way, man. He's like, what, 12 years old? Two words. 21. Jump Street. But why would they send an undercover cop here? Maybe because of Scooter. Who? You know, the guy whose face got in the way of our ski ball. What Yesterday, is... dude! Wait, so you're saying we're prime suspects for a murder? But the coroner said it was an accident. The coroner is probably in on it. Who knows how high up this thing goes? Whoa, this thing must be serious. They sent their number one sheriff after us. 
It was such a good crime. We didn't even know we did it. Wait, did we do it? I don't know. But we should probably figure it out before he does. Um... Hello? You ever think grease spots are really just birthmarks for buildings? No. Hmm. Um, I'm just here to rinse off a retainer. I think it belongs to the one girl with the long braid. Ah, that would be Mads. Mads? Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> that's a cool name. Um, can you tell me what she's like? Well, I know she loves guys who... Pizza's done. Do you want some? Oh, no thanks. I made it. <laughs> uh, it's a mushroom. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, but we were talking about, uh, what's her name? Mads? Ooh, that'll be the garlic bread. Okay, top ten reasons we are guilty of murdering Scooter. Dude, if someone comes into this room and they see Scooter's name written on here, we're busted. You're right. Top ten reasons we are guilty of murdering Scooter. Dude, that's brilliant. I know, right? Okay, one. We totally killed Scooter. True. We did it. Two. Your fingerprints are on the murder weapon. Ah, right. Fingerprints. Three. I may have spit on the ball. Why would you ever do that? Well, you know, I thought it'd be funny if you were like, ew, there's spit on my hand, and then I would laugh at you. God, you are so stupid. Now the cop has our DNA. D and A. Oh my God, dude, we are so guilty. You know, there's only one thing we can do. We're gonna have to kill- Ourselves? No, we're not gonna kill ourselves. We have to kill the cop. Wait, why don't we just bribe him? Works for me. Hey, sorry that I'm bringing this up again, mm. but you were telling me that Mads loves guys who- Oh, yes. Okay, so Mads loves guys who- Oh. I think those mushrooms were off. Why? Because you look like Abe Lincoln. Oh! Oh, man. We're messed up, aren't we? What? What kind of mushrooms were these? Don't know. I found them growing outside the free clinic this morning. I think I'm gonna go. Thanks for freeing the slaves, Abe. Oh, I have a whole stack of coupons for the car wash next door. Or do you think maybe he prefers cash? Don't ask me, all my money's tied up in the sock market. You mean the stock market? Yeah, that's what I said, the sock market. Hey! I'm looking for someone. He, he did, did it! Do what? He's playing dumb. All right, we'll play. What do you want from us? I want to know what your dating policy is. Could you excuse us for a second? Dude, I did not see that one coming. I know, he's totally hitting on you. Me, he's hitting on you! Well, I'm not gonna have sex with him. Neither am I. We're talking about jail time here. Oh no. The retainer. Okay, Narc. We'll both have sex with you if you... Hey, hey! Damn, this cop is hardcore. I know, he can't be bought. Where are you going? To prepare! We are totally going to prison! Mads! Or, I mean, hey, you. Hey. Wow. Hi. Pete, right? Yeah. Um. Oh, uh. I found this, and I think it's yours. You know, I really love a guy who yeah. isn't afraid to touch a girl's mouth. I like your glasses. It's like they're hiding a real man behind them.
Oh man, the toilet wine's coming along great. We're gonna be such a hit at the prison Christmas parties. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome, because I just fit three sandwich bags worth of contraband up my butt. What you got up there? Dude, the real question is what don't I got up there? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I got a yo-yo, I got a stretchy hand. Nice! Uh, a ball and paddle for entertainment, and a harmonica for the ladies. Prison ladies! hey -o. <laughs> Hey, you know what would be even cooler than, than toilet wine? What's that? Toilet beer. That's genius. It's a whole new demographic. All I gotta do is get the yeast. All right. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to fit that up there too. Great. Wow. The sheriff likes to get freaky. Uh, is he really? Yep. With? Mm-hmm. Um, ew. It's not his fault. Ella accidentally fed him bad pizza. You drugged a narc? Abe Lincoln is a narc? Pete is not a narc. I go to spin class with his mama every Wednesday. She begged me to give him a job. Yay, we're not going to prison! Well, uh, guess I won't be needing this anymore. Ew, is that my retainer? Matt? You have a twin? Oh, that's so hot. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the first episode of Part Timers. New episodes are going to be rolling out every Monday for the next few weeks. To check out the deleted scene where I give the porky suit a sexy makeover, click the box on the left. Take it off now! Okay. No, no, no. Oh, I, I didn't mean now. And go ahead and click the box on the right to watch the next episode. We're going to be on a TV commercial. Ah! <laughs> if you're watching this on a mobile device, all the links are down in the description box below.